This episode of The Basic Filmmaker is brought to you by... Sharp Things. Is your footage a bit dull? This is gonna help. Let's take a look at some footage. Here we have some handheld of guys shooting. It's not bad shot and it's a good focus pull, but the footage is a bit dull. Let's look at it again. This time the footage has much nicer colors, it looks quite a bit sharper, and it just looks better. Let's take a look side by side. The one on the left, that's the original shot. The one on the right, it's been corrected in post. So what's the difference? Let's take a closer look. First, let's look at one frame of this shot. That's the original. Now let's look at the same frame, the corrected shot. When I switch back and forth between the two, you can see the corrected shot looks better. Here they are side by side again. The difference between these two shots is the sharpness of the image. By adding some sharpness to your footage, you can make it look better. Now there are a ton of different editing programs and I don't use them all, but most include some kind of sharpening tool. I use Adobe Premiere. To sharpen my footage, I use the Unsharp Mask tool. I could spend a lot of time explaining to you why it's called an Unsharp Mask, but I'm not going to. You can Google it if you want to know. But what you should know is it sharpens your footage, and it does it really, really well. I simply add the Unsharp Mask to my footage. I usually set the amount to 120 and the radius to 1.2. I leave the threshold alone. Then I mess with the values until I like how it looks. What settings should you use? Well, whatever looks good to you. Unless you want some really crazy looking effect, just make minor adjustments to suit your taste. Here's another shot of me doing this episode. It's a bit dull and a bit uncolorful. So I simply do a bit of color correcting. I add an unsharp mask and a vignette. It may not be the best, but I think it looks pretty good. And more importantly, it's fast. If you have no unsharp mask tool, use a sharpening tool, but be very careful. A little goes a very long way. So if you want to add a little pop, sharpen it up a bit. It will look a lot better and I think you'll be more pleased with what you shoot. Well, there's just no stopping our hero. Now he's using a tripod. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. I hope that helps. I hope that helps. I hope that helps. I hope that helps. What the f I hope that helps. I hope that helps. I hope that helps. Ugh. Ugh. Thank you for watching. I hope that helps. You gotta be freaking kidding. <laughs> okay. The line is this. I hope that helps, and I hope that helps. I don't know what's going on. And thanks for watching. Look, you have said this a million, million times. I know! Eight words. I hope that helps. Oh my god! I hope that helps, and thanks for watching. Oh my god, I did it!